Hey guys, C Squared here. In this video, I want to make a quick little uh, pedal board snake. And the whole thing of this is that if you're on a gig uh, and you've got a limited amount of time to set up and tear down, or you just want it to be easier anyway, uh, and you're using a pedal board with, uh, say, an amp that has an effects loop and time based effects, or if you're doing a multi amp setup, these are pretty common scenarios. The, uh, the cables can get confusing if you're in a hurry because you're running back and forth between the, uh, the pedal board and the effects loop and the return, and you're like, well, all these cables look, the ends look alike. Which one am I holding? Is this the, the return or the send or what? So what we want to do first off is we want to label things and then we want to bind them together into a little snake and it's really easy to do. Uh, first of all, uh, get rid of the duct tape and get some real gaff tape. So this is a uh, pro gaff. Um, I got this from B&H uh, Photo and Video Supply. It's available in a lot of colors but I always just like black and white. And uh, for this I'm going to use white because I like to be able to see it. Um, especially when you go around to the back of the amp and you're looking at uh, trying to see what cable you're holding. So uh, first thing I would do is on the ends I'm going to label them. So I'm going to put some, some white gaff tape on there that I'll be able to see and write in a black sharpie so that I can see what I've written on there. And, uh, and then each cable is going to have a corresponding end that's appropriately labeled. One end will be for the pedal board and the other end will be for the appropriate uh, corresponding place on the amp. And then the next thing is that I'm going to bind them together so that this is really easy just to quickly lay it all out and just plug the ends in and it makes it so much faster and easier and you can just wind it up like one big giant cable at the end and, and tuck it away. So, um, so let's get busy and make one of those. So another little gaff tape trick for your pedal board is to tape the knobs in place on the pedals so that you don't accidentally move them, whether it's while you're moving the pedal board to and from the gig or inadvertently kicking the knobs while you're on the gig and, and changing sounds. So notice how I taped down most of the knobs, but there's a few that I've left untaped, uh, like effects levels and delay time, things like that, that I may want to change on the gig. Uh, depending on the room I'm in or even the mood that I'm in for that matter. So anything that I think I might want to change, I'll leave it available and untaped. So there are lots of great uses for gaff tape in addition to these guitar pedal board oriented things. Uh, for one thing, it's really more conformable than, than duct tape uh, because it's more of like a, a sort of cloth-like material that's inside of it. Uh, it's not vinyl or plasticky like, like duct tape is. And probably the most important thing of, of all about it is that it doesn't leave that residue like duct tape. When you put that on something and you pull it off, it just leaves a big mess. So gaff tape, way better for that. Um, and it's kind of reusable. You can uh, stick it down on something and pull it back off and just save it and use it again. I'll just stick it up under the lid of the box that I carry my cables in to and from the gig and uh, keep a whole bunch of it under the hair that, uh, that can just be used for things that aren't terribly crucial, like just taping cables down to the stage and stuff like that. Um, and when it gets where it won't stick anymore, then I just toss it. But you can use it several times. Uh, and uh, really good, and it saves you some money because gaff tape's a little bit more expensive than duct tape is. Now, something to remember too is that you can also use it for um, taping pedal or uh, taping your cables down so that you don't trip over them uh, in a dimly lit stage or even marking uh, hazards like the edge of the stage or steps up onto the stage. Um, the list really goes on and on. Uh, I've used it to uh, tape uh, uh, mics that might fall to the mic stand, uh, particularly like a Shure SM57 has a little uh, plastic end that if it hits a hard surface it'll pop off and ruin the mic and the pieces kind of go everywhere. 
uh, it, in cases where a mic like that has to be suspended way up above the floor, I'll just put some extra gaff tape on there, a little strip of gaff tape holding it, securing it a little bit better than just being in the mic holder. Um, so things like that can really help you. Um, so I would just say gaff tape has got to be one of the most important things you could possibly uh, have in your supplies for any professional musician. It's not just for people making movies and TV shows. So if you'd like to get more of these little pro tips and suggestions from me, click like and subscribe. And if you've got some uh, pro tips about gaff tape or any other topic, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And I hope to see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.